We are going to build a tab that is used in many different types of fabrication products. We'll start out by laying out a few points. First, we'll collect the Create tab, select the Point button, and move to the incremental method. Our first point is going to be 5 inches away from our origin point. So we'll replace a 5 in the X field, and then click on our origin point. This will set our second point in our tab. Next, we need to set the third point. That point is going to be 2.5 inches away and 5 inches above our origin point. Clicking on the origin point will set that third point. Next, we need to create an arc for the top of our tab. We will do this by selecting arc, going to the arc method, selecting full circle and this will have a 1.5 inch radius. We now have a circle that follows the cursor so we will select our third point to place our arc. We next need to define a couple of different lines that will help further lay out our flange. Selecting the line button and the tangent through point line method we will first select our circle, move down to our origin point, and that will create a line connecting the two. We need to repeat the same thing on the other side to form the right side of our flange. Next, we need to use the two points method to connect our two bottom base points. We now have the basic outline of our flange. We now have a line here that we need to get rid of on the bottom part of this arc. We will select the trim method, the break single in the trim break panel, selecting the feature that we want to break. We will then select the feature we want to break it at. In this case we're going to select the right hand side and they're also going to do the same thing on the left line. Now we can hit the delete button hit the arcs, square, select our feature at the bottom, and hit selection complete, and that will get rid of that bottom arc, leaving us with just the basic outline of our tab. Next, we need to place a hole using the point that we defined earlier. We will hit the create button, the hole button, Selecting round, and in this case it's going to be a one inch diameter. We will select that tab and then place our hole. Once we have the complete tab laid out, we now need to define this tab. Hitting the sheet bends button, the definition button, choosing a material, and then the define flange, we can select any of the lines on the outside of our flange. Once completed, we can view our completed part in the shaded display.